Hey guys, I'm Eric. Hey, I'm Robin. Wanderboom here. Um, we've been, uh, you know, showcasing our uh, quarantine mates from our New Mexico uh, house uh, where we were staying during the whole pandemic. And earlier we did one with uh, our friend Star and how she was uh, uh, dyeing these beautiful silk scarves. But uh, there's a whole other process that she does as well. It's called silk painting. Actually, both processes are silk painting, but this is painting actually. So this is a, an example of, so they're actually painting images onto the silk, yeah, like this like dragonfly, um, and with, a, with, a, with a chemical basically, which can separate the colors and so that you can actually have pictures on your, on your scarves that are hand, this is all hand painted. And so we're gonna show you that process. Um, but these are, yeah, these are the dip dyed ones that we showed you last time. These are mine. I love them. I got like this beautiful blue gray. It's just, they're just beautiful. I just love them. And then with these really blue kind of tips, I just, oh, they're so awesome. I love scarves. And then I got this really great um, kind of red orange. So I got the warm colors, the cool colors, I'm set. And so I want, uh, we just want to show you, uh, Star did a couple of um, panels for us while we were um, there, luckily, uh, we, were, we were afraid that we weren't going to get to see this before we left. So we're really happy to show this to you. Um, so here we go. So we're just basically painting in the air, mm -hmm. floating canvas. And then I'm going to do some little mushrooms. And I'm just going to do it freehand. So people can see really what we're doing here. And so I'm laying down these resist lines because they act like walls essentially for the dye. And so when this is dry, go in and add color. It looks like a chanterelle. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when I'm about to do, you know, like a painting that I haven't really done before or never studied I'll study for a long time what the the actual thing looks like mm. and then once that's in my brain it's pretty much in there and then I kind of just improvise you know To me, is that I don't have to accept the norm of what things normally are colored. I can kind of change it if I want to. Yeah, the beauty of art. <laughs> I don't know what color that is. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> the dark foresty green. That's my favorite. Like Viridian green is what they call it. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a blue. Yeah. And you 
can add water to make them lighter, as we talked about in the other video where we were doing mm -hmm. dip dyeing. It's all about the art of mixing the color. These are the uh, concentrated pigments, so I might add a little water to these. Um, but sometimes Turn I just down a yeah, bit, but huh? sometimes I just use a straight pigment because it really does produce a very vibrant silk. And since you end up steaming them and then washing them several times, you kind of lose some of it. Yeah, some of the dye runs out. I mean, the steaming, obviously, since they're fiber reactive dyes, which that's a technical term, but it basically means that uh, they are set by heat. Mm -hmm. And so, if it's a fiber reactive dye, it will be set by heat, but the first layers that have all been saturated are still going to wash out, you know, of the mm -hmm. dye, and then you'll have your original colors. So, we got the rainbow here. Roy G. Biv. Yeah, we do some black and some brown. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Mm -hmm. I remember that from my <laughs> my grade school art class. Yeah. Roy G. Biv. Made that you did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like I planned it the whole time. 
And then I might go in and kind of like just make this these lines a little straighter with the tree so the tree doesn't look exactly like the background and it kind of has a different thing. But you added more depth to this tree mm -hmm. too because it moved. And then sometimes you get giant red splotches where you don't want it. You know? It's fun. <laughs> it's a good time, you know? <laughs> I'm constantly like elated and also disappointed in my work <laughs> all the time, you know? Like a true artist over here just... Mm -hmm. Making it work. Big picture, you know, it's just about the big picture. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty cool stuff, huh? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I just loved how, I loved seeing how when you make a mistake, when she was making a mistake, it wasn't a big deal and just kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's a, such a kind of free form, natural, just kind of go with it. You know? Really, I, love I really, idea. really loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. So we will see you next time. Yeah, and remember Until to- Until then, uh, join the Wander Boom. Join the Wander Boom.